Hey guys, welcome back to another video at Jensen's Reptiles. Um, this is something that a lot of you request f uh, quite frequently. Um, I don't film it very often because YouTube like to uh, block the video. Um, but today I'm going to show you as many of my snakes eating as I can. Uh, some of them are in shed at the moment, so they may choose not to. But we'll try our luck. We'll see how many we can get to eat. Okay, so Indy looks pretty ready to me, so he can be the first today. Just tempt him over. There we go. So since I've had Indy, he's, uh, he's not Mr. Meal, so <laughs> he's pretty predictable. So Ziggy next, and he's also looking quite ready. So let's see how he goes. Good job, Ziggs. Okay, perfect. Um, Ziggy again, really not a fussy eater. Um, he's fed every two weeks at the moment uh, with corn snakes, especially lazy ones like Ziggy. Super easy for them to put on a bit of extra weight, so he's on a pretty strict feeding schedule at the moment. Okay, next up is Yuki. So she's actually in shed at the moment. I can see her eyes are going a little bit cloudy and blue. So we'll see if she wants to take the mouse or not. She's usually pretty good at eating whilst she's in shed, but she can get spooked as well. So we'll see how she goes. It might be that Yuki gets drop fed today and she just goes and takes the mouse when she's ready to. Well, we'll give her a chance. When snakes are shedding, they can't see too well, so I don't want to make any fast movements. I really just want to let her smell and feel for the mouse. And uh, she'll let me know if she's keen or not, but it's looking like she's interested, but a little bit hesitant at the moment. So what I might do is uh, come back to Yuki in a sec and see if she feels like it. Yeah, no, not too keen right now, but that's fine. Actually, what I'm going to do is just leave the mouse on top of her hide here. So that when she's ready, maybe when it's a little bit darker, she can come out and just take it without being worried about anything. And that will mean a little bit less stress for Yuki. Okay, so next up for feeding is Nacho. And um, I can see part of him towards the back of the enclosure. I don't know if you can see him back there, that, that black blob. Um, problem is I'm not sure where his head is and he is incredibly fast when, when food is coming. So I'm just going to tap the mouse around a little bit, see if I can get his interest and then, uh, hopefully he'll start moving and, and come out, not give us too much of a surprise. But we'll see. Okay, so I can hear him moving. Um, <laughs> I'm still not sure which direction his head is in. Oh wait, yeah, he's back here. So you can just see him behind the hide there. Just gonna pop the mouse in front of him. And bang. <laughs> he likes his food as well. So again, for Nacho, it's quite rare for him to miss a meal. Um, although when he's shedding, he's uh, a little bit nervous. So he's one of the ones that maybe I don't offer food to when he's in shed. Um, Similar with Yuki, really. It depends how far into shed she is. If I'd known she was in blue, I probably would have skipped her this week. So it seems that it is shedding season at the moment um, because Skills is uh, on the uh, finishing end of her shed at the minute. So I would expect her to shed probably in the next uh, day or so. But uh, you can tell she's hungry, so I'm sure she'll come out for her rat. It's rare for her to miss a, miss a feed. There we go. And of course her humidifier has just kicked in because the door is open. So hopefully she strikes. There we go, fantastic. 
So yeah, you can really see her colours are quite dull at the moment because she's due to shed. But uh, in a couple of days when she does shed, it's going to be so bright and incredible again. And typical Skittles, she's going to try and take this back into her hide. And uh, try and squeeze it through the doorway, I think. Next up is Mopani, who's also in shed, and you can see she is very ready. This S shape in her in her neck there shows me that she's gonna strike well. So I want to make sure that it's nice and in her field of vision there. There we go. She has a very gentle strike. She's a really polite snake to feed. Now with Mopani, because she doesn't like to eat rats, uh, she spits them out. Uh, she gets a mouse and a chick, and that's doing really well for her. And as she grows, we'll figure out what we want to feed her. But at the moment, she's doing really well. And I'll show you in a moment, uh, once she's got that down, I'll show you how she eats her chick. Okay. Time for Mopani's second feed, which is her chick here. See so if she's interested. There we go, just get her attention. There we go. See, super gentle with this one. She's uh, she's so polite. And uh, that food will be enough for her. For uh, well, we feed her every week at the moment. But now you can see she's getting quite big actually, so we can probably move her on to feeding every 10 days, then every 14. Okay, so Maya up next. Uh, she is in shed at the moment. You can see eyes are a little bit cloudy, so she's just started going into shed. Um, but Maya usually doesn't have an issue. Now she might miss, but we'll see how she gets on. Yeah, so missed the first strike, but nice and strong on the second one which is usually the case when she can't see what she's doing so she just sees a, a shadow and she goes for that um but when i move it a little bit more then she sees it properly and she goes in for the strike and always gets it perfectly the second time when she's in shed if maya isn't shedding she gets it perfectly the first time Kimi is a little firecracker when it comes to eating, so try to tempt him out a little bit. And hopefully he'll show us a nice Royal Python strike. Is getting him keen there. There we go. Oh, he made me jump that time. It was a bit quicker than I thought. Perfect. So, so far, we've got everyone apart from Yuki and... Uh, Still going to feed Aki, Haku, and Pixel. And of course, Mopani is going to get her chick as well. Uh, so hopefully we have a good streak. And I'm also going to talk a little bit about how I feed my boa. Because I feed him slightly differently to the rest of them. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the big boy. Now, the reason I feed Zeke slightly differently, and forgive my uh, shaky camera work here, I'm trying to do this with half a hand, <laughs> um, is I don't like to encourage large constrictors to strike. That is really just a personal preference for me, to be honest, because, um, you know, Zeke's been strike-fed strike before, and he's absolutely fine, but... Um, I feel like it puts a lot of pressure on an already big animal and I would rather that he just come over and take his food uh, rather than having to strike for it. Um, again, it really is just a personal preference. I'm not sure 
how much difference it would have in behavior, but that's just the way I like to feed him. So that's a guinea pig in there at the moment. It's a small one, so he's also gonna get a small quail um, for a bit of variety. Usually he's fed on jumbo rats um, and Zeke eats every, uh, every three weeks. So he's definitely not overfed in any way. Um, in fact, should he grow any more, he'll move over to being fed once a month. Um, it definitely helps with his temperament to be fed less frequently. Um, but of course, I don't want him ever to be hungry either. So uh, as soon as he does, as he does start to get hungry, we make sure that he's fed. But it's usually every three weeks. Um, as I said, he's got a guinea pig in there at the moment, which he is edging towards now. Um, I'm not going to get too close to him because it's going to make him a little bit nervous. So I'm going to let him grab his food and then once he's got it, I'll come back in and uh, show you guys. When it comes to feeding my royal pythons, they really prefer to be fed once it's a bit darker. So I'm going to feed Pixel, Haku and Aki now. You can see Pixel is kind of curious, so let's see if he takes his nice and quickly. There we go. He always has quite an impressive strike, uh, similar to Kimmy. Um, nice and fast, and he's a really good little eater. It's Pixel. I say little, he's actually quite huge now. Um, we'll see if uh, Aki wants to feed next. I think she's looking quite interested. So let's let's check it out. Aki is looking interested, so let's see if she's keen. There we go. I hope I got that on camera. I think I was distracted turning the camera the other way, so hopefully I got the strike on there. Uh, Haku's looking quite interested as well, so... We'll see if uh, she takes hers in a sec. Okay, let's see if Haku is ready to eat. <laughs> oh yeah, she's ready. Okay, fantastic. So, out of 12 snakes, we've had 11 eat their food so far. Uh, maybe Yuki will come out later and take hers. Um, we'll see. If a snake is in shed, I'm not too worried if they're going to eat or not, uh, because they usually are really hungry the next week. Uh, like Haku was, uh, shedding last week, so this week she's ready for food. Uh, so yeah, so quick, uh, well maybe not so quick, but a little bonus video today. I wasn't planning on making this, but, uh, quite a few of you asked about it, so I thought when I got home from work today that I could film it and uh, hopefully uh, the quality is not too budget but hopefully you got to see some some snakes feeding if that's your thing. Um, if you have any questions as usual drop them in the comments below I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I hope you're all having a great day and I'll catch up with you soon.